Hello and welcome back to Provis Gaming and Civilization Rising Tide, playing as the NSA. So we conquered a city, and we lost the respect of the Pan-Asian Cooperative because they are still at war, because it did not, apparently, end the war with both of us at the same time. Because it wasn't actually an alliance. Turns out, we just both happened to be fighting the same guy at the same time because he declared war on both of us at the same time, for God knows why, but we weren't involved in the same war. So, interesting. I imagine we would have gotten a lot of relations bonuses if we had been, and maybe that means it would be worthwhile trying to get up to a uh, uh, an alliance instead of merely a cooperating attitude. I'm not really sure. Something we can investigate in the future. Let's get a trade depot in Fjarin, Fjarin, whatever. Uh, let's see, this Tide Hunter can destroy the Sea Dragon. Working our way toward uh, killing some bugs, apparently. Silent service. I guess we have to get 10 kills with a uh, with a, a submarine. Interesting. Let's tell this cruiser to heal. Tell you to sit tight for a little while. This Tide Hunter... Well, these Tide Hunters have to be really strategic in how I move them. Hmm. Do you want to destroy Golden Bell? Let's see, tier 1 gives food and energy and 2 culture. Wow, that's actually a lot. Huh. That's a, that's, that's a lot of resources to give, actually, but maybe we should just conquer and remove them. But I don't remember, would that cause diplomatic issues? Maybe, maybe not? Screw it, let's find out. I want to know. Uh, I could play the safe route, but I want to find out for sure what happens. So let's start sending our military off that direction. Let's send our cutters this direction. It's very weak. It will probably only take one turn to eliminate completely, so whatever. Next turn. We're up to 14 capital per turn. My science rate is apparently impressing for the Americans. So they like the fact that I'm large, and they like the fact that I'm generating a lot of science. Good to know. Whoever's submarine this is, is just sitting around and killing a ton of aliens. Getting a lot of XP that way. Pretty effective, not gonna lie. Uh, the Faraday Gyre is done. Pack has been building some... Hmm, excuse me, some wonders. And, uh, people are canceling my private arms development. See, they're taking these they're taking these agreements and then immediately canceling them. I'm so confused. What's the problem here? Alright, let's do damage to the siege worm. Let's use my new artillery to do some extra damage to the siege worm. Not a lot, it turns out. Wait a minute, can you not... Oh, I haven't even set up for a range attack. There we go. Let's do some more damage. It's not a lot, but I have a mission to kill a siege worm, so... Ideally, we'll eventually be able to hunt you down and kill you. Worker, you need to go and finish the farm that never got finished because there's miasma. Let's pillage this. Ooh, whoa, we get artifacts from pillaging? Alien nests? I didn't know that. That's good to know. Flexible keratin tusk in pristine condition. That is worth food and science. All right, it's not great. Can we mix these things together? Oh, what the heck? Soul Discerner Training. What is that? What is this? Is this just a, a natural perk that we get forever? It's definitely... Well, hmm. It seems to me... Well, I don't know. It. it I, mm, I don't know. Huh. I'm not sure I want to use these up, but that's interesting. What is that? What is that? Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Let's construct an expedition to the crashed site over there. Uh, now that we've pretty much eliminated the aliens, we can go ahead and finish off improving some of these land tiles. Uh, you want my reserve army. Okay, looks pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and get some additional diplomatic capital. And... Uh, brr, uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, Vivarium for the food. Or the auto plants or something else. You know what, I want to get another explorer. I need more exploration, and I need more expeditions. It's probably not a huge priority, honestly, but I'm going to do it anyway for fun. Alright, let's send our cruisers up in this direction. Send our tide hunter. Let's send our cutter. And there we go. Select a unit needs orders. Nope, we should be good. Okay, moving on to the next turn. Weak approach to military operations. Again, he's not happy with my military. I don't know why. I think it's because I don't have a lot of land units, but whatever. I have a powerful navy, and you're a mostly aquatic nation. I mean, I can do a lot of damage to you. 
An agreement with ARC for conservation areas is available. I actually should look into what they have to offer at some point, shouldn't I? Yeah, probably. Uh, let's move the artillery forward. Because I think the siege worm can only move one at a time. Let's pillage, get some additional food. Uh, we have alien rippers. Those appear not to be... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh dear. So the aliens are turning orange, which means they are actually becoming actively hostile to me now. That's potentially very dangerous. All aliens are turning orange because I am just destroying so many nests. But you keep putting the nests over here. If you would just stop doing that, this wouldn't be a problem. Why? Why? All right. Next turn, we'll eliminate Golden Bell Temple and see what they have to offer. Actually, I'll just tell you guys to heal. Uh, wake up. Wake up. Heal. There we go. You can just sit tight. Okay. Finish off the farm, please. Next turn. This Ripper actually can become kind of dangerous. The Manticore even up here could become kind of dangerous. The Siege Worm definitely becomes really dangerous. And it appears that the Siege Worm is leaving. Okie doke. Let's move the artillery back again. Uh, Explorer. You can just go ahead and auto-explore for a little bit. I think once I get the next level of purity that aliens will stop attacking my, um, my explorers altogether. Do we want to destroy Golden Bell Temple? Yes, we do. Let's see if this generates a lot of problems for me diplomatically. It might, but it might be fine. We're going to find out. Let's do some damage. Golden Bell Temple is going to go away. Solar Collector. And let's send the Cutter in. Are you not going to go in? Wait a minute. Well, this is a coastal city. Apparently, that doesn't work. Oh, well, that's silly. Okay. Let's get a, a marine or something. Sure, let's get a marine trained, and we'll have to rush it up there and destroy the city. That's silly! Why can't you take that? You should be able to. Oh, God. I don't know why I can't do that. That's a coastal city as far as I'm concerned. It should be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and just pillage. There we go. And they are very angry at me now. Okie dokie. That's scary. Uh, you want to go back to neutral. Okie doke. You're making a mistake by trusting them. Nobody likes Korea. And I mean nobody likes Korea. Maybe I should just stay enemies forever. That's actually a good strategy. Why not? The gene vault is done. Excellent. So we get some capital. All cities start with a free worker. Can you please just take the city? No valid enemy in adjacent tile. Well, everybody seems to respect the fact that I built a wonder, but... Interesting. That's truly incredible. I'm a little bit speechless. Yeah. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Alright, well, this artillery is just going to sit tight. We'll set it for attack and do nothing. Uh, let's go ahead and kill off the Ripper. If only I had the spare time to devote to projects like that. You already built a wonder, at least one, if not a couple, so... That's what I call the wonder from down under. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, that's great. Um, good for you. Let's go ahead and start working towards Xenomass. Do I actually have Xenomass wells? No, I don't. Never mind. I haven't researched alien sciences yet, so I actually can't do anything with that. So we should just start improving the rest of these tiles then. There's nothing else we can do with it. Can I buy... I can buy the titanium. That is strategic resources. Maybe I should. Yes, I should. We're going to buy the titanium. I'm actually going to send my worker down that direction. And that, of course, because of my agreements, is worth culture and production like crazy. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Move on. Choose production. What do we want? Uh, The auto plant, probably. Network could be good, actually, because the science. Yeah, let's get a network. Diplo capital and science. Very good to have. I really think that Beyond Earth encourages you to blob out a lot more than Civilization V does. It seems like it's very worthwhile to have a lot of cities generating a lot of diplomatic capital and a lot of uh, science every turn. And energy, actually. Energy doesn't scale too bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't kill my explorer. 
Leave it alone. I'm almost at I'm almost at purity. I'm almost at purity level two. I think that my explorers will become immune. An intruder has been identified. The steps in the dance of life. All right. Every day I think of Earth. No, not immune. Just stronger when attacking or defending against aliens. Oops. And because I have harmony and purity, it looks like we're going to get extra culture and energy as a result. That's kind of cool. Um. But boy, howdy, am I wishing that I had immunity to them aliens right about now. Okie doke. Well, let's do some damage. Can we kill the siege worm off? That'd be good. Can we? Did we? No, not quite. All right, retreat! Retreat, my explorer! There's nothing you can do here! Uh, we can pick up another discipline bonus for our tide hunter. Let's destroy this ripper. Silent service gets some progress. Choose production. Um... The Gene Garden. Now that I have level 2 Impurity, that's actually an option, and that's a very nice building, not gonna lie. Dry Dock would be good. 30% production for naval units, holy crap. Side of Nursery, Auto Plants, or maybe we should just move a little bit further forward, and we shall. So we can start working toward this Farak site. Choose some research. I'm gonna go ahead and start working toward Alien Sciences, and we'll be able to get the Xenomass well. I think that's worthwhile. The Scarab apparently is having some trouble. I'm just going to let you heal. You have a natural bonus against these aliens, so we probably are going to be okay, but... Nonetheless, aliens have become a serious threat now. Wow! 160 culture? That's great. Also, we got... <laughs> we got a cello, or a violin, or something. The strings of Cremona. Um... Huh. Okay. Well, we discovered a new... A new station. That's, that's nice. Don't really care that much. Let's heal... Sit tight. Uh, Tide Hunter, keep looking for more aliens. There's another one of them. Let's go up here and do another expedition. Hopefully no aliens come around, because basically the entire planet has become alerted to the fact that I am hostile to aliens. And now they want to kill me. Sit tight, sit tight, sit tight. Uh, this worker cannot do much here at this point. And I don't want to get in the way of the city, because I feel like it probably would just die. Let's move to the Farak site. And sit tight, and we'll wait for a little while. Develop a new virtue. What do we want? Hands never idle. Energy from all specialists. Kind of nice. Will get us toward eudaimonia eventually. Ecoscaping. Terrascapes become extremely valuable. Getting one more in prosperity would get me extra health for every city, so that's probably a good idea. Tile improvements going faster could be nice, but honestly, it'd be nice to have the ability to go to eudaimonia pretty much any time we want. All right, we're going to grab Hands Never Idle, and bam, now we get extra health for every city. We're back up to 11 health. Quest decision, do we want... Let's see, our Pharma Labs are apparently a thing, so we can study the byproduct and get some science, or we can get extra health. I honestly think that health is more valuable than science. Uh, just as a just as a one-for-one -one trade. I would say that one health is probably worth, like, four science. Just pulling that number out of my head. Would I be willing to trade for it? Health is very valuable to me, so... Let's go ahead and start getting a mine up for some titanium. Make this tile exceptionally valuable. And next turn. How are we doing as far as that marine is concerned? It's getting there. We're going to have to send you the long way, though. Get you up to Golden Bell Temple. Uh, we just canceled some stuff. The pack just canceled. Now, I don't think that they're actually canceling this because they don't like me. I'm pretty sure that pack is canceling these things because they're actually running out of diplomatic capital for various reasons. That would make some sense to me. So it seems likely. This art artillery can't really do anything until these aliens get a little bit closer. This marine, we can get a discipline bonus. And we're going to start sending you... We're going to have to take the long way. I don't feel like going through the aliens over here. There's still an alien nest that I really should clear out. What's ours, you want to go for private arms again? Fine, take it. I don't care. I don't even care. I wish I could just like auto-accept those things. That would make some sense. Gene Gardens. Could be very, very, very good. We're going to grab it. Uh, let's just keep the Golden Bell Temple really weak so that I can just take it whenever I want. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Artillery's fine. Tide Hunter. Oh, dear. Hi. Okay, them some aliens. Um, let's go up this direction. And let's do an expedition over there. This worker... Phyraxite mine cannot be constructed outside the colony, so you need to sit tight for one more turn. Clearing a forest has created some production. She likes my cultural improvements, which is nice. 
These scarabs are really holding on long as they can. I mean, the aliens are just throwing themselves against this thing. Oh, wow. Now we got wolf beetles and scarabs. These guys are actually getting nicer over time. Established network covert operation in Niet Teen. Okie dokie. Knowing that that is true, well, we have to wait tur two turns, I suppose. So we will wait. Uh, choose production down here. Okay, so we did move. Oh, you can see because we're a bit harmonious, we're starting to pick up some harmony style buildings. The aesthetic is kind of cool. I do like that. Uh, let's see. The recycler would make some sense. The water refinery makes a lot of sense to me. In fact, yes, let's go ahead and grab a water refinery next. You can go ahead and start building our first Phyraxite mine. Let's do some damage again to Golden Bell Temple. Uh, sit tight, sit tight. Whoops. Nope, you're fine. Marine, start heading... Well, the siege worm's over there. I'm a little concerned about that, so you need to sit tight, actually. If the siege worm moves north, I could be in a lot of trouble. Let's move up a turn and do some damage to these sea dragons. Because he's a lot more dangerous than a ripper. Uh, okay. I'm still not immune to my asthma, am I? It took you this long to finish the darn farm? My god. Move out of there. Get out of there. What are you doing? They finally made peace. It's about dang time, guys. It's about dang time. That's all I gotta say. Should I upgrade a trait? Yes. I have a lot of diplomatic capital just sort of sitting around. I probably should. Probably should. So let's do exactly that. Okay, now we can do some damage to the Siege Worm. Can we finish it off, please? Whoa! Ugly! Quest complete. Got science and a lot of culture for hurting this stupid thing. All right. We'll do more damage to Golden Bell. You still won't take the city? No, you won't. Okay, well, that's just fine. Marine, go down this direction. And out of the worms out of the way, I feel pretty good. Tide Hunter, move a little bit further forward and kill the Sea Dragon, please. There we go. Choose some production. Ectogenesis Pod. Um, that's pretty, pretty good. Pretty darn good. Maybe I should do that. Again, the extra diplomatic capital is just really good. I really think that getting a lot of these traits going is going to be amazing. So yeah, alright, let's upgrade some stuff. Do we want XP for our units a lot faster so we can get more veterancy faster? Or do we want to just get more military units? Or do we want to get better health? Or aquatic cities? I'm thinking we go for this one. Did I, did I spend it? I did. I clicked once, it didn't even ask for a confirmation, I just automatically bought it. Okay, that's good to know. And pretty soon, we'll actually be able to afford another tier of something if we want. So, that's pretty cool. Unit needs orders. Worker. Heal, please. Sit tight, sit tight. And moving on. I don't understand why the Cutter can't take the city. I really don't. I would have thought that it was totally okay, but apparently it's not. Go forth, Scarabs! Man, I'm glad I leashed these guys. They're proving pretty darn useful to me. All right, an agreement for the National Science Foundation is available. I really wish that these would just go away. Energy siphoned and agents were detected. Yee. Let's get out of here. Oh, we have to go here next? Fine. Go there. We just need to establish... We just need to establish, like, a network. There's nothing else that really needs to even happen. Let's siphon some more energy out of you guys. Uh, okay. And this unit needs orders. Just do some damage. I probably should turn off quick combat. Or turn on quick, quick combat again. That might make some sense. We never did this expedition? Are you serious? Well, by God, let's go do that now. Artillery can just go to sleep. Where's the option for that? Alert. Nope, fortify. Whatever, it's fine. Um, let's kill the Ripper. Because we should be able to do a lot more damage now that we have that affinity. So we can just wipe these out in one shot. Fresh specimens. We apparently got 200 science for that. Alien Sciences! Good! The Xenomass Well is done. Uh, available to us. It's not done, but it is available. That's excellent. We need to finish off this mine first, which is only a couple of turns away, though. Choose some new science. What do we want? Cognition is always pretty good. Academy would be pretty nice to be able to get. Uh, that's a new wonder. Culture cost for new virtues reduced by a percentage equal to the city's population. Only in aquatic cities. The Hollow Suite. Culture and diplomatic capital requires Phyraxite. That actually could be pretty good. Neuro Lab, Science in the City, all requiring Phyraxite. Hmm. Alternatively, I could rush some stuff for Harmony, try to get a higher level so I can get more upgrades. 
might be worthwhile. This is the cool thing about Civilization Beyond Earth. Tech really branches out, like a lot. There's no set path. We could go for artificial intelligence. Hmm. Hmm. Academy improvements, but we would get additional XP towards Harmony and Supremacy. Fabrication would allow for the dome. I don't think that's very good. Torpedo battery. These are all very much military-based. Carriers, alloy foundries. Mechatronics. Optical surgery. Tactical robotics, swarm robotics, bionics for the bio well. This is a great way to get extra health, by the way, if you're really running low. Build a bunch of bio wells. It'll only cost you energy. Institute. Bionics lab for health. Requires Resolin. I do have a city that can do that, but I don't have enough purity to take advantage of it. The Auto Sled is a... Wow! The Auto Sled is a hybrid unit. Interesting. I didn't know that they added, like, actual hybrid units. I figured you could upgrade, you know, your existing units to a hybrid affinity, but I didn't know that there were hybrid units. Fascinating. I like that. I like that a lot. Terraforming for floatstone quarries. Gaian Well... We get us some supremacy and terrascapes would become available. Communications, sonar nets, feed site hub, for international city or station trade routes, mm. command center, com relay and tacnet hub. Yikes! I'm not really sure. I'm gonna go for the cognition. I think the ability to get Academies, whether I choose to take advantage of it or not, I don't know, but I like to have the option, simply because Academy is really important. It looks like, once again, Korea and Pan-Asian Cooperative are at war, and Korea and the Americans are at peace. I wasn't aware that Korea had upset literally everybody in the game. Man, being enemies with them actually could make a lot of sense then. It might be really worth making them upset with us. Might be. I'm actually going to go ahead and launch my orbital satellite now. Now that we are pretty securely puppeted, I think that we probably can get some use out of it. Pending diplomatic stuff, you want officer training grounds. You will give me 15 per turn for combat strength. Seems okay to me. Let's do some damage over there. We want to send our marine. Ah, I'm aware. Thank you, thank you. I'm aware. Let's send our marine... Off in that direction. No, 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 no. I want you to go this way. Okay. Doop, 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 doop. Deorbit imminent in five turns. Eh, we gotten a good use out of it. Pretty good use. I'm not too worried about it. That's gonna have to be enough for this episode, though. So thank you guys for... Actually, let's grab one more affinity. I... Psych, psych. I want to manage an affinity and let's upgrade something. Upgrade to even better XP? <laughs> Screw it! Yes, I want ridiculously fast XP. My min military units are going to be the best in the game really quickly. Oh, man. That's pretty fun. Anyway, that's going to have to be enough for this video, though. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Provis with Civilization Rising Tide. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time. <laughs>